This video started out as me wanting to change over my accumulator to the correct M104 version, as someone has fit the M103 version to this car in its previous ownership. Um, that also involved the wrong version metal pipe that connects it to the fuel pump. Um, unfortunately, that project hit a snag today, uh, and I'm going to show you why. It's a bit of an alert. I had a feeling I was going to run into problems today when I realised that my hoist is completely in the way of actually doing anything on the fuel pump package. Uh, it's not impossible, but it does make life more difficult than it should be. Just removing the cover is quite a hassle, but once you're in there, it's not too bad as long as you're reasonably flexible. And you've got a reasonable amount of access from behind to do what is necessary there. It's still nice and clean back here. Unfortunately, that's where the good news ended. As I was about to start this job, first thing I wanted to do was pinch the suction line from the tank and much to my horror I saw that that was not a good idea. After only two years the rubber is already starting to decompose. It's ridiculously soft and you can see these cracks starting to form. If that's squeezed too hard I dare say the inner layers will start to, if they haven't already, crack and then you'll get weeping of fuel to the outside world. It's not just there. Unfortunately, it's the uh, smaller diameter hoses as well that look like this when you squeeze it. Um, one such piece that's easily accessible and easily squeezable is the leak line from the accumulator. When you squeeze that, of course, cracks are visible in that as well. So needless to say, I'm not happy about this situation. Now, of course, these are not genuine MB hoses because uh, a lot of this stuff is no longer available. I got this remanufactured from a local hydraulic specialist that deals with this stuff day in and day out. I pretty much don't have any choice whatsoever now. Uh, I don't know where I'm going to go from here because I don't want this rubbish on the car. Uh, especially the high pressure lines that I can see are starting to look a bit worse for wear as well. So if you've got any suggestions as to where I can get decent uh, OEM quality hoses, I'd, I'd like to hear from you because uh, I'm running out of ideas. All it takes is a, a small leak to start and basically your car goes up in flames and that's not something you want happening on a project car that you've spent years and many dollars on. So any quality brands, any vendors I'd be interested to hear about, nothing made in China. I don't want any junk on this car that's going to fail in another two years like this did.